Are there any clinical trials on fenbendazole and ivermectin for cancer? If you're curious about whether fenbendazole and ivermectin are being tested in clinical trials for cancer treatment, you're not alone. Let's break down the current state of research on these medications. First, let's look at fenbendazole. Despite its promising anti-cancer effects shown in in vitro and in vivo studies, there are currently no clinical trials that have tested fenbendazole in humans for cancer treatment. These studies have demonstrated that fenbendazole can inhibit glycolysis, downregulate glucose uptake, induce oxidative stress, and enhance apoptosis in cancer cells. However, to ensure patient safety and efficacy, clinical trials are necessary to assess its potential anti-cancer effects, optimal doses, and tolerance profiles. On the other hand, ivermectin is a different story. There are ongoing clinical trials evaluating the use of ivermectin in combination with other treatments for cancer. For instance, a phase two study is currently assessing the safety and efficacy of ivermectin when combined with pembrolizumab in patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. This study aims to see if ivermectin can enhance the effectiveness of immune checkpoint inhibitors by increasing T cell infiltration into breast tumors effectively turning cold tumors hot. Another study has shown promising results with ivermectin combined with recombinant methioninase, r metase in treating pancreatic cancer cells in vitro. This combination synergistically reduced the viability of pancreatic cancer cells more effectively than either treatment alone. While this study was conducted in a lab setting, it highlights the potential for future clinical trials to explore this combination in humans. In summary, while fenbendazole has not yet been tested in human clinical trials for cancer, ivermectin is being evaluated in several clinical trials, particularly in combination with other therapies to enhance their effectiveness. These studies are crucial steps towards understanding whether these medications can be safely and effectively used in cancer treatment.